Here, we are going to look at a very interesting puzzle uh, formulated first by the great master puzzler, Henry Dudney from 19th century. Uh, the puzzle goes something like this. There is a man and his dog. And uh, one day, the dog is waiting by the door, okay, just watching which way the man is about to go. And when the man starts along a familiar road, the dog immediately knows where he's heading to. So that very instant, the dog races along to the end of the road and immediately returns to the man. Again, he races to the end of the road and again returns to the guy. And uh, he keeps doing that uh, in all four times uh, with uniform speed. And then he joins the man and walks together with him the remaining distance, uh, which according to the man's pace measures to 81 feet. Now, afterwards, the man measured the distance from his door to the end of the road and found it to be 625 feet. Now, if the man walked at exactly four miles per hour at a uniform speed, what was the speed of his dog when racing to and fro? This puzzle comes to us today from Mr. Ajit Atle. He uh, sent me another puzzle and uh, I'll be making a video for that too. Very interesting puzzles, Mr. Atle, and uh, thank you very much for that. As always, you can pause the video here and solve the puzzle on your own. Otherwise, we'll be solving it here. And in keeping with the spirit of this channel, we'll be solving it using geometry rather than algebra. Let us watch the story of this puzzle in animation first. So here is a girl and a dog. Of course, the puzzle mentions a man, but the illustration artist, Akanksha, she wanted to show herself with her favorite dog, Augie. So here they are leaving home. Uh, Akanksha is walking at a steady pace while uh, Augie rushes to the destination, reaches there, hurries back, meets her momentarily, and again scurries back to uh, their destination. He's going to do that four times in all. So here he has returned the second time, coming back for the third time. And when the fourth time, he joins Akansha and both of them walk at a steady pace, the, rest, uh, the remaining 81 feet and reach the destination. Uh, we'll be looking at this illustration once again at the end of uh, the solution with all the numbers in this diagram. Let us start by summarizing the data given to us. So the dog is making four round trips. The total distance is 625 feet. The last 81 feet are covered by the man and his dog together. The man walks at four miles per hour and we have to figure out the dog's running speed. We'll start by first erecting a coordinate frame that is distance against time. And here we are going to show the total distance that is 625. And on it now we can show the man's trail. The man would be going from uh, zero the position zero at time zero to this distance 625 feet at some time. Then we can show the dog's trail. Uh, this forms these four triangles, one, two, three, and four. But these four triangles are neither very useful nor very convenient. Let me show what I mean by that. For that, I'm going to draw two more lines here like this and form these five triangles. Now, if you think of the sides of these triangles, they show the running speed of the dog okay? because it is the slope of the distance time curve. And since the dog is running with the same constant speed, uh, all these lines are going to be parallel to each other. And in fact, these triangles would be isosceles triangles. Moreover, the altitudes of these triangles are giving us the distance the dog is covering. So first the dog is covering this much distance, then it is coming back and going uh, to the end of the road again. Again, coming back and uh, returning to the end of the road. And he does it a couple of more times. Okay. And uh, moreover, we know the first and the last distances or the altitudes. The first distance it covers is 625 feet. And then uh, at last, he covers 81 feet to join his master. Moreover, uh, these triangles, uh, because their vertices are situated on a straight line and their bases are nicely uh, arranged on a straight line, uh, they are going to be the scaled replicas of each other. So we are successively scaling this triangle okay, with altitude 625, 1, 2, 3, 
four times to get this triangle with altitude 81 units. So from uh, these two altitudes, we can figure out what is the total scaling that is happening here. So the total scaling is 81 divided by 625. And this is a result of four successive scaling. So it is going to be the scale factor raised to four. So if that is the case, we can figure out the scale factor itself. It's going to be uh, the fourth root of 81 upon 625. So that is three upon five. And if we use this scale factor, then we can find the successive altitudes. So three fifths of 625 would be 375. Three fifths of that would be 225. Three fifths of that would be uh, 135 and so on. Because we know these distances now, we can even mark the meeting points of the dog and his master. So we can now add all these distances, you know, 625 plus 375 as a return trip, then again 375 uh, in this direction. Similarly, 225 twice, 135 twice, and 81 once. So again, if we add all these distances, then we will get the total distance covered by the dog to be 2176. But while the dog is doing this, you know, shuttling back and forth, the man has also reached this point, which is 544 from their home. So we know the distance covered by the man and we know the distance covered by the dog. So we can find the ratio of their distances covered, which is nothing but the ratio of their speeds as well, because they are taking the same amount of time for that. And that turns out to be four. So we know that the dog is running four times faster than the man is walking. So we can figure out the speed of the dog to be four into four is equal to 16 miles per hour. So we are going to take a look at the animation once again, but this time with all the information in. So all the distances of these return trips okay, over here and all the marks of their meeting points. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Uh, this is in the phase of, you know, that back and forth uh, short trips. They go shorter and shorter as you can see. Okay. It comes back 135 feet, goes 135, comes back and now the remaining 81 feet they are walking together. So that's the story. Thank you for watching.